right, on today's video, we're gonna be talking about all of the fall scents available from Ready Man Grooming, and I've got like eight of them here. Uh, six of them, I think, have been released so far. Two more are coming next week. I'm gonna tell you all about that, plus three brand new ones from uh, for this year to go along with some uh, favorites from years past. So welcome guys, my name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we try to help you grow your best beer possible. Thank you so much for joining me. Huge fan of what Jimmy's doing over at Ruddy Man Groom has been working at a long time. Keeps keeps doing little tweaks there to improve the presentation and the quality of the scents are just great. Uh, really for the most part are kind of safer scents in that they're not super duper strong or super duper offensive of one way or the other. I think everybody in the family can uh, enjoy these scents, but uh, there, there are some interesting combinations to go along uh, in some of these that we're gonna talk about. So let me talk about the prices and kind of what's available in most of these uh, fall scents for you guys. So I am a long time affiliate, so you can always save 15% with the code BANJO15. Always appreciate when you guys do that, but you can get a one ounce oil for $18. You can get a two ounce uh, butter for 25. A four ounce summer butter, the liquid butter is $25. Uh, two ounce balm is 20. Uh, and there's combos available. I think there's oil, butter, oil, summer butter, some of that stuff that you can get as well. And then also in one of these scents, and I'll talk about in a minute, the sarcophagus, which is a nice uh, cologne type of scent. Uh, you can get a, now a solid cologne and that goes for $20. All right, so let me kind of go in order. I think this is the order that they've been, were released in this year. Um, so the first one is, is, uh, you know, a perennial favorite or, uh, you know, you say this and it's kind of a trigger word for some people, but we have Ichabod's Main, which is your pumpkin spice kind of scent. So, you know, first thing you want to, when you start thinking about fall, getting into that, it's like, all right, pumpkin spice. So here we go. So it's pumpkin spice, vanilla, and clove. Uh, and this one has... Uh, it's not my favorite of all of these because I get tons of pumpkin spice scents from a lot of companies during the fall. It's got some clove in it. So if you're really sensitive to clove, you may not want it. it might be a little bit too much on the spicy side, but it's a good choice if you like the traditional pumpkin spice kind of scent. That's called Ichabod's Main. I know that one's been around for several years. And then a, a huge hit for me, I think it was last year. Uh, and this one is totally different. This one to me is not necessarily a fall scent. It is called Sarcophagus. And that one is Egyptian Amber, Linen Wraps, and Burial Spices. And I think this one should be available all year long. It's super good. It's basically an amber cologne, amber base, which you know is that kind of rich, little bit on the sweet side. And then um, the, the spices in it, the burial spices, I get just like a little bit of like frankincense kind of uh, idea. It's not cinnamon, it's not foody, it's not really spicy. It's mostly a nice smooth amber based cologne, if you will. And uh, I think uh, Ruddy, uh, Mr. Ruddy Man over there, Jimmy likes it too. That's why he came out with the um, uh, solid cologne to go with that. Let me know, are you a fan of solid colognes? I don't usually, it's not a big thing as I have stuff in my beard all the time. I'm always testing. So if I'm not testing. A lot of times I go with something really mild or unscented. So I don't really go for the colognes, even though I appreciate colognes a lot more now than I did before I grew my beard out and started with the beard oils. All right, so you know the the pumpkin spice one was kind of traditional. All of these other ones have something very unique about them. So that's one of the things I like uh, uh, about Ruddy Man. So the next one is called the Wretch. This one was a new one last year as well. I like this one much more than I thought I was going to because it's graveside dirt, uh, frankincense, daisies, leather, pomegranate, and a charred windmill. And I'm not exactly. I guess it's some sort sort of like charred wood. You don't really get any kind of smoky scent out of it. You get mostly leather and the daisies. And then uh, when you warm it up, you can get a little bit of that dirt, but it's not too much dirt in your face. Uh, it, it works really well. Uh, it's, so if you like those kind of scents, uh, definitely check this out. If you like some interesting kind of unique spins, if you like leather scents, uh, floral kind of scents, uh, a lot of different things going on in uh, the wretch. Uh, it's got a lot of layers to it for sure. All right, next up, we're gonna talk about the three brand new scents. And, and Jimmy sent me out a huge box this year and I have little samples of these new scents. And I'm gonna tell you, I like all three of them. One's just a little bit more traditional and that is kind of like an apple kind of scent. Uh, the other two are a little bit more unique, but I like all three of these very, very much. So the first one, 
and I'm not going to say if my, I don't think I can even tell you which one's my favorite, but uh, th this one's called Nocturnus. And I, I know I just have a little bottle here, but but it's red wine, blood orange and Draculean musk. So when you smell it, you get you get like the the wine, kind of a grapey uh, and an orange mixed together. But then it kind of uh, migrates a little bit more towards the musky side on the end instead of it staying kind of candy, super sweet. It's still a, a sweeter scent, but it, it kind of smooths out just a little bit more sophisticated with the uh, musk on it at the end. I like wine profiles. I don't like drinking wine, uh, but I definitely like the, those kind of profiles, mulled wine, little spicy kind of something, something um, usually works pretty well for a beard oil. All right. Uh, next up, we've got a new another new scent. This one's called Elemental, and this one is Absinthe, uh, Forest Magic. I don't even know what that means, but and cedar. But so I like absinthe scents, and, and this one is good in that it's not too strong because if you get a really strong absinthe scent, it can be a, a little bit too spicy, maybe a little bit too much towards it's not exactly uh, black licorice, but it's kind of down, you know, in a similar path. I don't usually like the black licorice anise kind of smell, but I do like absinthe. This one works very well. I don't really get tons of the the wood i get the, pretty much an absinthe kind of uh smell and if you've never tried a scent that has that in it i highly recommend it it's something a little bit different uh just a little bit on the sweet side a little bit on the spicy side um but neither you know like like i said before the way jimmy mixes these is they're pretty safe so it's not too much one way or the other um and then one more brand new one this one just came out this past friday it's called crow keeper i got hair going up my nose uh and this one is black uh, black walnuts and baked apple pie not too strong on the apple pie food stuff you get you get that uh, and then the walnuts gives a lot more nuttier kind of uh woody a little bit heavier kind of scent darker scent to go with the apples but it is more on a baked apple it's not too spicy not too apple spice uh, but you get the apple and then like the depth uh, that comes along with the, the the baked part and then also the black walnuts uh, in it. I really enjoy that one. I like apple scents usually better than the pumpkin spice scents or the, uh, the autumn spice stuff can sometimes be too much on the weird spicy stuff for me with the cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, that kind of stuff. Uh, apple I usually do a little bit better with, but that one uh, I really enjoy. That's called Crow Keeper just came out. And then there's two more coming out. One's coming out Tuesday uh, on Tuesday the 25th. 27th i'm not sure what day i'm going to release this on so if i've already if it's past that it came out on uh, september 27th but this one is called cereal and uh you know it's got a kind of a cereal killer theme but also the the scent is cereal it's like fruity pebbles kind of cereal so it's fruity cereal marshmallow and milk uh you tell me that a year ago i said i am not going to like the scent i put it in my beard and i really liked it jimmy's a master he can take some of the stuff that you say never, you will never like it, and you'll like it for some reason. But this one is pretty cool, kind of nostalgic uh, in a way, with because it does smell like fruity pebbles. And I put it in my beard and don't think I'm going to like fruity pebbles in my beard, but I do. Uh, it's, the, it's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, and then this last one is actually, I think Jimmy said, his best selling uh, autumn fall scent ever. And this one is Los Murtos. Um, which is got panda murto. I wasn't sure what that uh, what that was. That's like a bread they make uh, on the Day of the Dead uh, in the I guess it's Mexican culture. Uh, I'm not familiar with that, but uh, it, it doesn't smell bready. I'll tell you about that in a second. But uh, citrus, sugar skulls, incense, and cemetery trees. So it's a lot going on. It's pretty sweet. Uh, with the the sugar skulls, and then now that you tell me it's, it's some sort of bread, it kind of mixes together with a little bit of an orangey citrus. Not much on that mixed together with that that bread smell. Um, not much on the incense, and I don't get uh, a lot of uh, wood out of that. It's it's kind of sugar skull, citrus, bread, uh, all mixed together is what I get. Really do enjoy that one. It is a little bit on the sweeter side. So if you don't like those kind of food scents, it's not super foody, but it is, you know, sweet um, and towards that with the bread. So um, you just have to let me know. I'm sure. Let me know if you've tried Los Muertos in, in the comments, because I think you're going to see a lot of guys who really love that scent and uh, are going to is going to be glad that it's coming back. So that's coming back on Friday. 
I guess that would be, I don't even try to figure out the date, but uh, Serial Killer comes out on Tuesday. Los Muertos drops on Friday. I may put out this video on Friday. I don't remember uh, how I'm going to do that. I did a little peruse in the website just to see what else is available. And as of the filming of this video, there's a couple other ones. One of them that actually looks like a fall Halloween kind of scent. It's called Night Stalker. I think it might be a collab scent, but it's Earthy Forest, Vanilla, Tobacco, and Cryptid Cool. Sounds cool to me. Um, one was called a Roddy, like a Rottweiler, uh, and it's uh, heavy metal, right? Heavy gun metal. So gun metal, German lager, and dark musk. That one sounds pretty much up my alley. And then if you like, uh, you're trying to keep the summer going, but also kind of moving towards fall, there's my collaboration, which is called Old Home Place. It's got a little bit of nostalgic for home, which you, uh, uh, you, know, you, you start thinking about when it comes time to holiday seasons and Thanksgiving and all that. But it's cornbread. Uh, cucumber, tomato vine, and uh, barn wood. And that's a really cool mixture that it, you, you kind of get a little bit of summer, but you also get like uh, uh, the home, like you go and visit in grandma's house and uh, you got the cornbread cooking in the oven. So that was a pretty cool one as well. If you've never tried it, Jimmy's a master. He can do anything with these scents. Let me know if any of them sound good. If you tried any of them, let us know in the comments so guys can check that out. And uh, remember, you can use code Banjo15 to save anytime. And as always, appreciate, appreciate, appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you soon.